Tonight, as we sit with friends and family to share a meal and give thanks, we're pretty sure many are looking back on the big changes that our nation has witnessed in just the past couple of weeks. Well, those sweeping changes began on Election Day when Donald Trump won the White House, but the changes have not been limited, of course, to politics. Since November 8th, the stock market has rallied bigly, he might say, sending many of the broad market indexes to levels never seen before. Dominic Chu takes a look at what might be next for the market and your money. You can't say we haven't had an eventful November in the markets. The election is now behind us and investors and analysts all over are trying to figure out if that stock rally since the election day has legs into the year end. Well, history may help provide at least a little bit of color as to what to expect as we head deeper into the holiday season. Bulls will point to the generally positive nature in the markets in December. According to data and analytics firm Kensho, over the last 20 years, the large cap S&P 500 averages a 1.2% gain for the month of December. And it's been a positive month 70% of the time. A seasonally strong December and some other factors have at least some money managers feeling good about the future. I'm generally uh, bullish because I think you're going to get, as most people believe, uh, quite a bit of fiscal stimulus. And I think that there are securities out there that are more or less neglected that represent good value. And so if you focus on value and we think value comes back, that you can make good money over time. While utilities and industrial related stocks have been some of the biggest average gainers in that time span, energy and technology related stocks have been among the biggest laggards. And there are still a number of market risks to be aware of in the coming weeks and months. One of the biggest risks to the market over the next several weeks will be the Fed meeting. Investors have built in the expectation that the Fed will raise rates, but we're not quite sure what they're going to say, so all eyes will be on that. Second, we think the market has really been driven by expectations and news out of Washington. So to the extent that that news comes in and doesn't meet market expectations, that represents an additional risk. But for investors with a longer time horizon, many experts still believe you should take advantage of any market weakness. I think the most important thing for investors to do is, uh, you know, Buy stocks on dips, buy companies that they understand the fundamentals for, and to think long term. Now that the election is behind us and we're recovering from that Thanksgiving food coma, investors may have a chance to do a little fine tuning for their portfolios into the year end. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dominic Chu.